As the final seconds counted down at the Los Angeles Coliseum Saturday, the notoriety of Myrtle Beach native Everett Golson shot up. With a win over the University of Southern California, Golson secured Notre Dame a spot in the BCS National Championship game in January. But before he reached national stardom, he was first introduced on the Chevy end zone with the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. In the fall of 2007, Golson took control of the team as a freshman. After years of losing to their rivals Conway, he replaced the area passing leader, sparked a comeback, and reclaimed the victory bell for his school, all at just 14 years of age. Starting the legend that made him a two-time WPDE Zoneman winner. First time I kind of got my hands on him was in eighth grade, and uh, you know he's uh, he's just a tremendous kid. Uh, his parents should be extremely proud. Head coach Mickey Wilson guided Golson throughout his high school career. He watched the game Saturday night with his family, but he says he felt as if one of his own was playing. It's definitely like wa watching one of your own sons out there playing, and um, he's sitting around the house, and uh, you know you're throwing things and you're jumping up and down and cheering. He says he's not surprised to see the young man he met six years ago being the leader once again. We knew that when he went to Notre Dame, he was going to do great things. I uh, just didn't think it was going to happen this soon. A star ignited on the Grand Strand, but now shining bright on the national stage. In Myrtle Beach, Ryan Nockan, News Channel 15.